Hello, and welcome back to the next episode of Austria. And once again, a lot to do today. And I decided, because what all of you said, is I will I will help the Spanish. Okay, I will not backstab them. It would be dishonorable for a Catholic ally to drop a Catholic ally for their own profit. So in the name of our collected faith spirit, I will help them to crush their... The other relations, that sounds very bad. I didn't want to say it. I had no other idea what to say. So I said it. Please don't hate me. This is... This is roleplay. <laughs> uh, it's a problem about E4. It's, it's, it's not a fictional game. So you could offend real people if you just say stuff. Um, I don't mean it that way. I really don't. Uh, and if someone would hate over my religion, I would be offended too. If, if I would be more religious. I get that, I'm sorry. So, into the game. Uh, my fleet is... I have a bigger fleet, right? Because I have a large fleet, what? Oh, it's mostly transfers, I remember. I love every time I come back, like, what do I even own? Like, if you play the EO4 game for yourself, right? You, you always know where you're at and all of that, right? But for me right now, it's just like... What happened last time? Where are we? What's going on? It is... Kind of funny and kind of weird to play Let's Play like that. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be absolutely honest. But yes, once again, I read your comments and you wanted me to go more into... Um, work together along the Catholic side. Uh, I mean, also try to incorporate these kingdoms, but I, I, I would guess more on a diplomatic way. Maybe we just randomly inherit them. It's not like we need Spain. It would just be fun to have them too. Um, but on the other side, we could just conquer all the land once we unite the HRE because we get crazy buffs. Let's be honest. Good. I'm going to march forward. I do claim land, so I could pretend... No, I don't really claim this. And I can't. Who's claiming that? Oh, it's because the Byzantines do, right? Ah, oh, the Byzantines is automatically giving it to me. Okay, we will not get any land. Because the options I have now is to turn every land, I, like every province I conquer into a hey, phoenix you're leading now uh into byzantium land which is a lot of clicking or we just accept yeah we help the spanish here next time we're gonna do our own conquest let a little bit of a just calm down but yeah I'm, i would be much more interested in the russian front and also to kind of pop out more nations out of france the real problem with france is that i have no war goal i mean later on we will get imperialism right but that's still you know Takes a while. Don't even have the next age ticking. Oh no, we do. Reformation Ensign. Okay, that's good. Some of you probably know that, but when do we get the cool war goal? It's like 23, Dip Tech 23, where you get like nationalism and imperialism war goals. Um, yeah, I don't know it inside out. I'm gonna be honest. I know it's Dip Tech, but I don't know which one. I know. How dare I not know? Um. Yeah, the Spanish are doing a good enough job of cleaning that out, so shouldn't take for too long. Oh, what I definitely want to do is to conquer some land of Jerusalem and give that back to them. Because there could actually be a chance that they just return cores of them. Because these are... Have they lost cores or do they just never own cores over here? Because these three... Could attack the Mamelukes. I don't see the reason that right now. It's funny that the Ottomans at their weakest point are still very strong. <laughs> I mean, this is this is as weak as it gets, I would say. They, they, they are like completely cut off the European pass. They're only in the Arabian pass. They're still growing. They're still expanding. Like you push them away from here and it's just pushing down here. It is crazy how the Ottomans operate in this game. They, they don't even need a capital city. They just need somewhere to grow and it is fine. Even if they have no Turkish province anymore, they wouldn't care. They would just keep growing. Uh, I can't do this. Why? Oh, it's currently occupied. Yeah, that makes sense. So very soon we push through here. And yes, we finished that. We have now five more discipline and recover faster. Beautiful. Now we need tech. That, that's, that's important now, but that was really cool. That was really cool that we got to finish that. Makes our army way stronger. Um, keep an eye on that because the army is kind of alone. So, let's check. It is th these three provinces. Okay, they go to Jerusalem then. Uh, you are here. Good. It's probably we have the same color. See, they spot the difference between this Austrian-occupied province and this Jerusalem-occupied province. Yes, they're the same picture. <laughs> I know. So, 
Siege ability. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go in that. Do I lose now or do I have the ability? Ah, yeah, I have the ability to kind of one more. Great. Good. We siege now fast and our leaders get siege pips. That is beautiful. Cars. So we took our cars. Go over here now. This army is just sieging. Um, very important. Good. Just as a heads up, I'm a little bit... I feel a little bit sick today, I have to say that. I don't feel... I feel a little bit fevery and stuff, so... If the video is a little bit short, um, I apologize. I still try to do my daily stuff, but I do feel a little bit um, beside me today. Um, came kind of out of nowhere. Like, yesterday was fine, and today I'm like, okay. Um, I, I, I consumed copious amount of tea in the morning, so I should be fine for this recording. But I think that will be sad news for today's stream. Maybe I will do it later, I don't know. But I do need to stream again. Because currently I'm also only doing um, Aussie recordings. The problem about Aussie recordings is not that I don't like them, no, but they're the most effort, right? They take up a lot of time. I do the extra series, so I put some editing. Uh, there's always work with every, every step you add to a process, it just it becomes more work, right? Uh, that means I'm currently not getting a lot of time to make my main series <laughs> on my main uh, channel, right? Um, it's funny that I called my Let's Play channel, where I have daily content, not my main channel, and did let my, my other channel that has bigger projects, but like once a year, my main channel. Takes up less time at the moment because I don't have it. Very sad. How are you not capitulating? You're just an ally in this war, are you? Yeah, how are you, how are you still fine with this? How are you like, yeah, we, we can save this, we can turn this around. I have bad news for you, Ottomans. I don't. I don't think you can turn this around. I'm. I'm very sorry. Okay, what do we want over here? No. Um. I, I, I want our heathens to be angry. Liberty desire from subjects. That could be okay. A uh, yearly corruption makes promoted cultures expand administration. Reduces parliament bribes. We have no parliament. Separatism, nationalism, estates like me less. And this first one is more absolutism and more a. Less stability from declaring a war. I would say we take this, the subjects. But it's, I think none of this is good. Maybe this for the corrupt. You know what? I'm going to take this for the corruption for the next promote culture over here. Any bonus things I get? No. 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 Because this gives you... The state enforcing a dialogue no longer. Okay, no. this. I'm going to take this now. Bum. I think it likes the weakest reform of all of them. The next one could be interesting again. Kingdom of People. Oh no, that's cringe. Um, Vosco versus other religion. Okay. Um, I am the state is still the best one by far. By the way, the reform is ready. How about that? Let's put it through. Bum. Curtail the imperial estates. We grow more imperial authority. That is actually a lot. Amazing. Good. They took all of that. I, I really don't like how big the Spanish become. Uh, they got a Syria. <laughs> they actually got an air. This is so sad. Um, maybe I should activate the thing where I don't help them in aggress. Like, I'm gonna do that now. I don't need favors from them anymore. I really don't. I, I rarely call him, call him in. I'm strong enough to fight my own wars. And I can use up a few more favors to keep... Like, they're not gonna help me against the Russians and stuff, right? I don't wanna break my alliance with them at the same time. I don't wanna help them in offensive wars anymore. Because why should I help someone expand? It could potentially be my um, enemy in the future, right? So I'm not going to do that anymore. Very important. Very important. Good. Over here. We're looking fine. I'm very sad. I got nothing out of this. Not even the course for Jerusalem. Not even the one that I actually turned over because the rest I forgot. Uh, that's kind of mean. Oof. I mean, we're already back at four points. This is so fast. It's crazy. I could just do the absolute chat thing and just... Oh, no. I can't pass on the crown. Not yet. Good. Dip tag. Very up to date now. Clear crystal. Oh, that's great. Army tradition. For how long? That's for 15 years. Okay, then. Let's lose a little bit. Okay. I read something in, in the comments, by the way, that I only need to put one in the state. Let me read this again, because apparently I was too stupid to read. Um, okay, this is that, that mission. Where's the other mission that I invest in? Yeah, okay. One promise must be 30. Okay, one of the following must be true. Yep, yep. I'm stupid. That, that, that was not even mean. I'm just, I thought I need to develop every province. Nope, it's one province. One of the province, Bohemia. 
Oh, wait. So one of the following must be true. 10 development at least in one of the following... 25 pro. I'm very confused. One of the following must be true, right? But it says on top, you see that? 25 own provinces, currently 9 with at least 10 development. So I need to have one province that is here. Okay, let me test this out. Bum, bum, bum. Maybe that's what I mean. Uh, that's what confused me probably last time. Because it had this thing above. Okay, now I have this. And now I go back. That's 10 from them. Okay, and now we need only at least 25 provinces currently. Okay, the only thing we're missing now is that we... Okay, we need to have 10 development in all of this. That confused me. Okay. Um, yeah. Confusion. Uh, I shouldn't use mill points, by the way. I should use everything else. Because I have way too much admin right now. Use that. Bum, bum, bum. You were part of this? Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this real quick. So we get this mission done. Uh, so, okay, I'm gonna use mill points. I don't care. Boop, boop. This is fine, this is fine. Good. Now we're up to 15. Now we need to develop these. Ah, oh, this is actually gold mine, so I would love to do more production development. But if we don't have the points, we don't have the points. Very sad. I'm gonna be lazy, I'm not gonna work with Edix. It's uh, we will save a little bit, let's be honest. We, we will save a little bit, no, but not that much. I can give you a number. 10%, that's what we would save. Um, one, two. One, two. One, two. We need to develop more, but this goes into here, so you're done developing. Bum, 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 bum. Good, how much more? Three provinces, right? Yep. One, two. Oh. We are out of admin points. We were so close to this end. Okay, this is the last province we need to develop. And then we're actually done with this mission. Then we actually can complete the mission again, which gives us nice bonuses for 30 years. So I'm gonna take this. Um, and over here, we just need to build a manufactory. Which, did I start building a manufactory in Austrian provinces? I thought I did, but maybe I didn't have enough money at the time. I probably didn't have enough money at the time. This is not an Austrian province, that's the trick. This looks Austrian, but it's actually Italian at the game. It's Venetian. Very sad. Uh, administrative benefits. Yeah, I bought it. I need to develop and I need admin stuff. Not as much. Okay, I don't need admin stuff, but I like the other bonuses with uh, government stuff reform. There you go. <laughs> that's the word. <laughs> government reform stuff. You know, the thing. Good. Um, year, state maintenance, bum. Okay, very soon I need leaders again. I, I will do next episodes, I will do leaders again as a mark. In my chaotic way, I forgot to write the list today. Probably being at fault that I don't feel too great. <laughs> but yeah. The heads up is if I don't stream today, I will, I will work on a main channel video. That's a good side. And it's going to be fu funny. I, I have an early version done. Very early version. <laughs> good. Novgorod and Uprising. Not my problem. That's just all I'm going to say. Uh, then we get another 25% from this, right? Then we get another 25% from this. This is so strong. The modifiers you get, like after a certain point, it just becomes way too strong. Uh, but once again, I'm going to integrate the PUs because I'm not sure if I get them to integrate in all of this. But especially Poland, who is not even an HRE. But the others, I am very op I'm very positive that I don't need to do anything with them. Like all of this HRE stuff will just be a part of me. Then add Poland to this and we just are uh, like, yeah, very strong. Um, even Byzantium is an HRE, so they, they will become like all the core. Uh, anything else I want to do? Could go into South Italy. For this, I have to fight Spain, so not too interesting. Uh, I'm just happy that we make good money. Like, we really make bank. Unironically, we really, really make bank. So, can I declare on the Russians? I can. No one would help me. But let's be let's be honest. I'd, I don't need help. Oh, I could vassalize you. I don't know why or how, but sure, I'll do it. That means they would show the HRE because this is an HRE province up here. 
Uh, I'll take it. You want money? Okay. Me too. <laughs> Thank you, AI, for, for telling me that you want money. I, I agree that money is quite nice in this game and we should both have more of it. End of this discussion. Please go away. Uh, I, I'm just taking away his only ally and then we can start this war. Am I mean? Maybe. Do I care? No. So where can I park you that you don't die? Over here, okay. Uh, over here. Then this. Be gone. Loan. Be gone. And what do we need to do? Yeah, I did the impossible mission. We have to own this, right? And it's not gonna happen. Oh, no, I have to release the nation, but I can't because Ewiger Landes Friede. I'm such a genius sometimes. It's, it, it really hurts. It really hurts how stupid I am sometimes. Uh, unironically. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm my biggest critique. Uh, so it came from York. It's spreading through my empire, but very slowly because I think I'm not too good with trade. So, yeah. My trade influence is really quite bad. I should invest some of that into trade buildings. Most definitely. But, you know, it's the entirety of South Germany. is like owned with level 3. I still hold a lot of control for that. Just because I have provinces. That's nice. Uh, anything else? I could proclaim, pro proclaim, proclaim a guarantee. Um, send him some money. That's basically all I can do. We pay. We have no more loans left. Burger loans are gone. And Barbrand, sure. How long is the truth with the Ottomans? It shouldn't be too long. It's like 11 years. Okay. They're just eating more of the Mamluks. Oh my god. You just take all the land that I need to, to give to Jerusalem, right? Just do this. Thank you. I really want a snake here so we can add him. Interested why this is still not integrated. Maybe I need to build like here and then over all of this they will just add it. Like it needs literally a land connection for some reason. But I still don't know how they got this then, right? This is an interesting outcome of a situation that I don't know how it happened. <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, but you know what? By the way, do you still hate me? Yeah. Yeah, can't change your religion. Eh. Good. He is now loyal enough, or likes me loud enough that I can make him my vassal. Beautiful. I have too much relations, I just noticed. Oh my god. Why? Why do I have so much relations? Oh, I feel like... Why, why am I... I wanted to turn you into a free city, right? And that didn't work out in other role merit and everything. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Byzantium needs help. Sure, why not? That's a huge uprising. Oh, they have Habsburgers. Okay, we're going down. Normally, I wouldn't care because they're vassals, but this is our dynasty. Let's save the Aris. Habsburgers have to stick together. And that's... <laughs> that's also for marriages, you know. Um, let's go. Come on. Boop. No more uprising here. Problem solved. The Austrians have arrived and the Austrians have cleaned up the mess. Good. Yeah, I really need to reinvest some money in this and some trade I have. Okay, over here, I can't take stability. That's interesting. I could try to get the become paper controller. I'm already at 50. What? How am I already at that? What? I'm already at 54. It's just a few years past. Okay, this is going really, really fast now. It's the last three reforms. The big question is I would like to do the last reform really big and. We can't do colonial Austria anymore, which is sad, but I could yoink off some of these provinces. Just, you know, conquer them. But how about Austria India? Something like that. I could take off some of this French land over there. Hmm. There's a lot we could do. I'm still very sad that we didn't get the Spanish PU. I was actually looking forward to getting maybe that. But yeah, that, it would be very against the RP, I would say to backstep him in such a moment. Okay, now we need a lot of money to embrace that, and at the same time, we need um, a new idea group, so we need admin points. On the other side, with that mission... Soon to, okay, this we will get when we unite everything. This mission, we're currently working on it. This is for later. This is once we unite everything. What? Why did it show that? Revoke 10? Or more members are... Kundi 12, I remember, freeze it. 
Yes, what is the problem? Revoke the privileges and exit. Okay, then that's when we need to unite HRE for this, basically. Delve with this. Province is... Oh, I have to own these provinces. Okay. Yeah, I mean, th th this is literally... We will finish half of this mission tree once I click... Oh, next button. Proclaim Erbkaisertum. No more elections. You're welcome. You don't need to vote for me anymore. It's fine. It's fine. You don't need to vote for me anymore. I know you love me. Um... <laughs> It's nearly one point per month. What? Uh, so every 50 months, we can basically enact the reform now. Yeah. <laughs> so weird. What I'm going to do now for the last thing is just improve relations with everyone. So, um, they will like me more. So neighboring nations improve. I decide for integrating Poland. There are a lot of royal marriages once to be done. Wait, what? Why? Are so many slots now free? Was I like way over it? I got something. I don't know what I got, but I got it. Okay. I will say no to this. I think I got just way more dip, uh, dip slots for some reason. And I don't know when it happened. Once again, me being a genius in the game, just falling through. Maybe this give. No, this doesn't give it to me. This just the. No doesn't i could should i ally sweden i could vassalize finland that's cool by the way i will make war against russia now step one ally finland that's always step one when you fight russia step, step one is always ally finland always works <laughs> don't look into history books step two actually declare war for something and I'm just going to declare war for the capital city because for some reason the Polish have a claim over there. I, I guess it's the mission tree. Like, honestly. What else should it be? And I'm going to work with the generals I have because um, I don't have a subscriber list so I will not make any... I mean, I say subscriber list, right? I'm going to be honest about this. If you write a comment, I can't check if you're subscriber. I mean, I could. I could look through my area, like, area of my subscribers, see, are you subscribed, are you subscribed, are you subscribed? But I will not do this, I'm gonna be honest. So, yeah, if you're in the comments often enough and not subscribe, I mean, I respect that. I respect that, I really do. I don't mind. I'm not gonna e back here like, a hey, subscribe. It does support me, yes, but at the end of the day, I mean, you do you, right? On my other channel, though, to that you have to subscribe, right? That That is not an option. <laughs> uh, Imperial Capitalist. We get even more <laughs> Imperial Authority growth now. What is this? Uh, and how long? For 20 cities. Uh, 20, for 20 cities. For, it says Imperial Cities. For 20 months. It's crazy. What do we need for this? Level 3 advisor, level 3 advisor, level 3 advisor. Vienna is at least 50 development and has 6 buildings. So we need more buildings. What do we build? A university. How about that? And then we have the mission done. We just need level 3 advisors. That's crazy. I mean, that's doable. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Excellent. Yes. Yes, yes, good. Then we only upgrade this and then we're kind of done. I'm going to put away the focus because we don't need it anymore. We really, really don't. The Russians are having fun in the north, as they tend to do. And we are in the capital city of theirs and, you know, having an occupation over there. Good. This is going very, very well. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually a lot of fun to play so far. This entire campaign is actually a lot, a lot, a lot of fun for me. And I do learn more about the game. This is what I like about the Let's Play um, video style. Like, when I, when, especially when I do it like this and have a daily... Like, it's more effort for me to make every morning a recording instead of, you know, recording in one session and then edit it over the few days. The upside of it is the direct contact I have. So, if you want to say something to me... I will know it in the next video, right? And not like three videos later when there's a whole lot of problem. So I appreciate that. The activity in the comments really, it helps. Uh, over here, the Venetians will like me less, but that's very natural in the way between the Austrians and the Venetians, they're natural enemies. And now we come in form of tourists, which is even worse than armies, I know. <laughs> uh, so... The Polish are going in and we're supporting them. Let's go. That was 
Not hard. What Miltech? 17. We have also 17. But I imagine if only offensive ideas. Yeah, okay. We have offensive and quality. Plus some bo bonus combination. Oh, that army I deleted. Yep. Okay. I might keep the Vassal Swarm for a while to conquer Europe. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I will keep this open, this option for a while. But this option I will take as soon as I... I feel like it. Because I, I want to improve relations before. I want to have as many people say yes to this as possible in the HRE. Not everyone tends to like me. Most of them have a very good opinion about me because a lot of stuff. Especially um, me not expanding too much inside of the HRE, I guess. But, yep. Good. Holy War, as always. Invest more pole points. And we're already at 30%. Oh my god. Oh, not 30%. Actually, 60% because we need to go up to 50. So it's at 30 points. That's what I meant. Ay, ay, ay. Uh... Just give the north to Novgorod and release some stuff back to Finland. I mean, Finland is not my puppet yet. So, I could probably vassalize him in this war. Because the if you don't know, the conditions for vassalization is that he, he's not at war, not me. So, the target. So, I could probably vassalize him while I'm at war. I'm not wrong. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. No. <laughs> vassalized Finland. How about that? Now I can return the land and it will go to me. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Beautiful. As you all know, none of this would have been possible without allying to finish. So, thanks. Thanks to them. I appreciate it. That was very good. Very good ally. That is also very decent. Come on, Siege Fort. How, did, how does this take so long? Do we have no cannons in there? We have three cannons and no general. I mean, you have one, but he has zero siege. Oh my god, the rose in this fort. I'm not gonna help anymore. They, they, they should do fine on their own, right? I don't I shouldn't babysit them as much. They have to grow up and learn how the world works. Uh can I vassalize you? I can. Great. Hey, I annexed Poland. Just saw this in the background that the blob became just way bigger. Just way, way bigger. Uh, yeah, convert that. <laughs> That's my main goal there. What do we want to take now? You know what? I will keep this this time. I always took all the ideas for now. I want to keep this for the next episode. You choose that, okay? If you want to have a specific idea group, I'm open to hear it. There's a lot of ups and downs. I, I don't even want to say what I prefer because I, I really don't want to influence that. But I, in the next episode, I will say what my thoughts are. But I will respect the most liked comment. Even if it's quantity ideas, which have become way worse in this update. Because <laughs> uh, at this point I'm so strong, I, I think I don't even mind if the idea is bad. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, I, I would still appreciate a better idea than, uh, you know. Bad ideas still more helpful than worse ideas. I know, crazy concept. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. We go closer to Muscovy. Yeah. Let's bully them. Let's let's snake on them. How about this? A little bit of money too. Boom. Russia is expanding east, and we are also expanding east into Russia. Very cool. We have so much admin points, I will just call all of this over time. You go over here, you go over here, you go over here. And I would say that's a beautiful Novgorod. I mean, it's basically starting Novgorod, just a big bidder. Big, bigger, big, bigger. Um, and yeah, we have a Finland, which is also cool. And I think I'm gonna, because I have so much points on free, I'm actually gonna vassalize them too. Because I can. Orthodox Uprising. You are Orthodox, so I don't care. Like, if an Orthodox Uprising is instead of an Orthodox Nation, it's nothing that really changes for me, so, eh, you know. And yeah, court is over time. I still want to become a march, which I will not allow them to do. By the way, we have enough points for this reform. Let's see. I'm gonna wait for a while now, so most people agree to this. I will probably do this at the beginning of... Actually, great thumbnail. Let's do it this. Let's do it this time around. Well, you know, let's do it this time around. But just... I, I'm gonna be mean and screenshot this. Just for the sake of having it in the thumbnail. <laughs> 
This is what I have to think about as a content creator, because it's one thing to create the content, it's the other thing to market it, right? Um, not gonna lie, in, in the video production thing, I think thumbnails is the thing I enjoy the least. Not, not that I hate it, but um, it feels sometimes more for chore than I, I have fun with it, right? Let's say sometimes, most of the time I do enjoy it, but right now, I... I'm a little bit sick, so I'm not looking forward to make a thumbnail after this. <laughs> but it has to be done. I think this is the first thing I would ever outsource as a content creator. Thumbnails. I can tell you that much. On the other side, thumbnails are fun. Like, you kind of would give up control if you let someone else do it. I know, how dare I talk about content creator stuff in this playthrough. Immersion destroyed. No, I'm, I'm sorry, but wait, what is this? Armor tradition or a nobility likes me a bit less? I take 100% the nobility likes me a bit less, cause yeah. In every playthrough, I do a small watch if, if everything is recording, if everything is running right. This time I did it at the end of the episode, so just chose how fine I'm today. I'm surprised it sound very fine. I sound way worse in the morning, but you know, he repairs. I can tell you that much. Okay, then this is all fine. This is not a lot of people voting for that. It's interesting. How? Theocracy, current amount of reforms, emperor is overextended. Oh, emperor is overextended. Add something to that. Interesting. So as soon as I integrate all of that, I'm fine again. So let me five speed this because we're doing nothing else on the side. Do I want to attack the Ottomans again? No, I, I have no real war goal against the French. The French will be a big thing once I vassalize everything, right? Because then I get these war goals of my... Yeah, like I would get all of Provence war goals, stuff like that, right? So I could push that through. But for now, I can do nothing with it. So that's kind of sad. Uh, I'm also kind of sad that I can't use missions. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter if I make him angry. Good. Beautiful. You like me, right? Yes, you actually like me now. Then I was gonna send you some money. That was one time too often, but I don't care. You allied to the Danish. Very cool. No more vassal now. Bye. Bye, Danish. Who are you fighting? Lübeck. Oh my god. Like, Lübeck is this great power inside of my <laughs> empire. It's just expanding north to make money. And I have no chill about it. Okay, we could now click it. But... I'm not sure. I think everyone, everyone who doesn't agree or doesn't like me will not... Like, I will wait until everyone agrees to the reform and then click it. I'm probably wrong about this, but I just don't want to be... Like, I don't want to risk just a lot of people not joining the vassalization because I clicked the button a little bit too early. It's not like we have pressure or anything. We, this is, for this, it, it, for a pro, pro player, this might not be early, but I feel like for a normal campaign, this unification of the HRE is quite... Like, we're in the mid of the game. Be 16 20 the game ain't the game ends like 18 20 i think something around that 18 21 i think and so from 40 44 to 18 21 we're pretty pretty much in the middle of the campaign right now a little bit before that and we are about to un unite the hre so and we have no other great power anymore in our way i feel like even the spanish will become a joke once i unite the hre just because of the sheer size of the vessel swarm i could just eat the spanish for breakfast if i want to i most of, most of the wars are just not gonna happen. Like, this would be a stage for world conquest at this point. I could do it. But there's a there's one thing why I don't do world conquest. It's a very, very big reason. It's boring. I, I, I personally get bored by the concept of fighting rebels until the end of the campaign. Every three seconds. I have to be honest about that. That's the sole reason why I don't want to do world conquest. I feel like they're boring, okay? You can say skill issue. I don't care. Say it. But I feel like it's boring. So. Good. How about all of this? Okay. We had nearly 90% now. We get more than one point. This is so crazy. Nine people say no. Okay, I feel like if you had 100, I feel like everyone should say yes. You are positive relations now, right? Yes, you are. I feel like everyone who's the wrong religion will not join. So I will try to convert everyone that is. 
Wait, when did you join? They flip religion again. That's so stupid. Flip back. Good. But like that's most of the wrong religions dealt with. It's still funny that Glaskany still exists. And it's only because they ended with Burgundy. Okay. I will do this. Baptism, and we will start a golden era. Do I start it now? I would say once you unite the HRE. That would be a good point. Because I feel absolutism is a good point to start the golden era. Because you get the absolutism bo bonuses. And the revolutionary seal would be great. But I don't know. Maybe we'll become the revolutionary holy Roman Empire. I don't care. I mean, once we unite it, it doesn't matter if we become a revolutionary government or not. <laughs> would be fun to see that. Just because of its curse. But yeah. Oh. Uprising. Bonk. Got a bonk uprising. So, do this, do this. Great. How many people would say yes to this now? Them and I still saying no. Okay, we go up to 100 after that I can't do anything else. Like, nothing more I can do. We basically wasted like 50 months. Plus minus faster growth. Oh, finally the mission ended and failed. Oh, what is the new mission? Take something good, Floris. Don't fuck this up. Uh... Tier is a subject of Austria. <laughs> what do we get for that? Dip rep plus one. That's funny because I'm about to subjugate the entire HRE. You know what? I'll do it. So, there's nothing more I can do than 100%. Okay. I will click it now. Wait. Sorry, I screenshotted that. I will click it now. Bum. Demands oath of loyalty. Let's see who said no. Personal union ended. Yeah, I know, because I vassalized them. <laughs> That's an end of my personal union. And what we can do now is click these amazing buttons. Land force limit modifier plus 10% and diplomatic annexation cost is cheaper, so... I guess it's nice. Um, we have more imperial authority, okay, and dip. And we gain 10 trust for HRE member states that are not rivals. Um, we gain more pop influence. We gain a Roman Empire, which gives us more imperial authority again. We gain deal with the pictures, which gives them claims. Let's just say we can do a lot of stuff now. IEO, which gives us power projection, which is kind of useless. And an absolute modifier until the end of the game. I'll take that immediately. Duchy of Bavaria integrated. Duchy of Brandenburg Delphiv. Delphiv, amazing. Yes, a Delphiv twice, because that's how much I dealt with them. Secure Croatia, yes. Transylvania, yes. Italian ambition, yes. What is up with... Oh, wait. They said no. No, you're a vassal of me. Do I have to directly own it? Owned by Austria, okay, I need to annex them. Duchy of Milan. Yeah, I did a waste with accepting all of these missions. Yes, but do I care? No. Look at all of this. This is all emissions trees. I could look through now because I have all of these vessels. Who said no? Let's check it out. Who said no? Anyone? Any more? Because you get claims and stuff on the nations that say no. I think everyone said yes. Because these are the claims to go through the mission trees. Yeah, everyone said yes. And I now have... See what I meant. All of my... That, that's the funny part. You see, all of my vassals that I got so far just became free vassals. I only use dip, three dip slots right now, which is Great Britain, Spain, and wait, Jerusalem. Oh, they, they went in the HRE. Okay. But Jerusalem is the only vassal I now have that is, you know, cost me dip points. Every other vassal is for free now. That's how much diplomatic relations I can have now, just because they turned into this special vassal where I don't need to pay any dip slots for them. I mean, it would be devastating because right now I have few vessels <laughs> uh yeah but with that amazing austria font i would say we will end the episode now i wish you all a great one until next time and no no book today i'm very sorry um i don't feel so good um next time okay have a good one until next time bye